Good morning, Hawks. My name is Seth Lowe. And my name is Cheyenne Fosley, and you're watching Hawk Talk. Hey, have you heard of the Stripes of Warrior 5K? Yeah, it's a charity event to help support people with cancer. Let's hear from the people who run this event year after year. Last weekend, Stripes of a Warrior organized a 5K to help cancer patients. Stripes of a Warrior, a nonprofit organization, was founded by Mindy Mitchell, but the club at Aldo is run by senior Kendall Bangert. Stripes of a Warrior is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to help fight cancer financially. My grandma is a two time cancer survivor. She first had breast cancer when, when she was younger. She won and beat that battle. And a couple years ago, she got colon cancer. When she got colon cancer, it was the first time I personally had been, ever been affected by someone with cancer. And witnessing that battle between her and the battle of my family, specifically my mom, learning how to juggle between work and family and my grandma, I realized that I wanted to become part of something that not only helped the cancer patient, but also the families that are affected by it. A warrior is someone who has had cancer and is currently here today, or unfortunately has passed away, or someone who is still fighting it. When you're a warrior, you experience lots of hardships on your journey, which is what leads to the name Stripes, which describes those scars that you receive. It's been found now for about six or seven years, and it originally started as a blog, and now it's led to a website, and is now a huge part of our community. It was just created to like not only help with the medical bills, but also create fun excursions. Like this past year, we helped a girl go and have a Disneyland trip. If like they unfortunately are about to lose their battle, like not only help pay for the bills, but also to create lasting memories. Thank you to Mindy Mitchell and her Stripes of a Warrior organization for all you have done for our community. That's a lot of people that ran 5K. Let's hear from the ones who are running Jock Talk. I'm Phil Seidel. And I'm Carly Dong. And you're watching Jock, Jock Talk. Talk. Good morning, Hawks. To begin, we take it to the water with girls water polo competing in the Oxnard Tournament. The scores for each game are shown, overall going three wins to two losses in the five games. However, lost 2-15 to 15 against Foothill on Tuesday, and again against Yorba Linda 5-8 on Wednesday. Great work, girls. Next, we're taking it to the soccer pitch with our boys' soccer team tying Canyon 2-2 two two last week and beating Rail Linda 3-0 on Wednesday. The next game for the boys is at Villa Park at 3 o'clock p.m. today. As for the girls, last week they beat Esperanza 2-1, however lost to Villa Park 1-3 on Tuesday. They have played against Canyon yesterday, and we'll have the scores for you next week. Let's go, Hawks. Moving on, we continue to the gym where our boys basketball team lost by one to Villa Park 48-49 last week. It took their rage out on Braille and up beating them 71-44. As for the girls, three games were played, beating Villa Park 55-25 and beating El Medina 59-31 last week. However, lost to Braille and 45-67 on Tuesday. Their next games are both at Esperanza today at 5.30 for the girls and 7 p.m. for the boys. Let's go, Hawks. Finally, we're getting down to the mat with wrestling. Our wrestling team beat the previously undefeated foot Hill by one, winning 41 to 40. Their next event is at the Esperanza Invitational tomorrow. Let's go, Hawks. Now here is Carlene with Dance Team. Dance Team competed in their first competition of the year on Saturday at Esperanza High School. They went up against 16 other high schools, including some of the top teams in the area. The team brought home a second place in large jazz, second place in small jazz, and first place in palm. For the solo competition, Alana Velez got second place in the 9th grade division, Emma Kim got third place in the 10th grade division, Emma Ramos got fourth place in the 11th grade division, and Haley Chong got second place in the 12th grade division. The team has their second competition this Saturday at Arlington High School. Good luck, ladies! Thanks for watching Jock Talk! Catch you next week for more sports updates. Listen today to Extra A's to get good info inside your brains. Finals are coming next week from January 25th to January 27th. Make sure you're studying and turning in all your missing assignments to get the best grades possible. February 1st is anything but a backpack day. Bring anything but a backpack to school. Examples are purses, tote bags, strollers, and anything else creative you can think of. The EDHS Network website is now up. Go to www.edhsnetwork.com to send in your suggestions about changes you want to see around school. Plus, stay tuned for weekly questions, social experiments, and student spotlights. The in and out truck is coming next Wednesday at 12.30. 30 p.m. You have until today to purchase a ticket from any dance team member or Mrs. Lawson for $5. Your meal includes a hamburger or cheeseburger, a drink, and chips. Seniors, it's time to order your cap and gown, graduation announcements, class ring, and class of 2020 gear. Go to www.socalgrad.com to order today. If you have any questions, please contact the number on screen. PYL USD school choice transfer application period is going on now to February 11th. Fairmont Elementary PTA is looking for high school students over the age of 18 to work backstage or student 
students over 14 on the spotlights for the upcoming production of Annie Junior Tomorrow at the Performing Arts Center. If interested, contact the number on screen. Scholarship opportunities. Students, go to edhs.org and go to the students, then scholarship for scholarship opportunities. The SAT practice test is tomorrow. Of course, come back the same day. It's been an honor being your anchors here on Hawk Dog. Since this is our last episode, we're actually getting fired. So, have a fire weekend. Bye. Bye.